turning to, to our next story, I find this one absolutely hilarious, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, there is there is a, a direct upside for uh, some parts of the crypto industry, but let me just go through this story a little bit. Razzlecon and husband guilty of four and a half billion dollar Bitcoin launder. Um, this person's name is not actually Razzlecon. This is a guy named Ilya Lichtenstein and his wife, Heather Morgan, who uh, many years ago, seven years ago now, um, he hacked, um, was it not Bitfinex, it was Bit, what was the bit? Uh, oh, it was Bitfinex, yeah. Um, so they hacked, for, there was like a $72 million, $71 million hack. Um, and then they've spent the last seven years trying to hide that money and launder that money and bounce it around. And I and, remember when this hack happened. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, think, it was probably one of the biggest ones at the time, you know. And they were, they were caught quite a long time ago. No, no, you must be thinking of someone. There's oh. another couple that was caught, okay. you know, not a, a while ago for doing some other kind of shady stuff. They were arrested in February of 22. So I guess that's a while ago. That's okay. a year and a half yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 it was. In crypto land. Yeah, it's forever. Um, so what What I find especially funny about this is, so when you have, over the course of that time period, Bitcoin increased in value so much that it's now worth $4.5 billion. So they had a whole lot of Bitcoin that was worth an enormous amount of money, and they didn't want to draw attention to themselves as being the thieves that stole it. Wait, so just to underscore the quantities here, when they stole the money, it was worth $71 million. $71 million, and now it is worth? $4.5 billion. Dang. Mm-hmm, 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 exactly. Okay. All right. That's, that's crypto, folks. That's Bitcoin, at least. Um, so anyway, uh, in order to not draw attention to themselves as criminals who had stolen a bunch of money, they needed to come up with kind of an alternate, they, they had this really convoluted scheme for how they would actually launder it and turn it into small amounts of money so that they can still buy expensive things and live, live, live a nice lifestyle as, you know, billionaires should. Um, <laughs> uh, but they also had to then come up with an excuse for where is this money coming from, right? And so <laughs> she came up with this idea to be this like weird rapper <laughs> with the moniker Razzlecon. I, I assume that's how you pronounce it. Um, wearing just goofy outfits, just ridiculousness, and shooting these really high production value music videos all around New York City. I remember the videos. Too too ridiculous. Yeah, too absolutely yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. And she After called this, herself look up, you'll have a good laugh. <laughs> a badass moneymaker and quote, the crocodile of Wall Street. Whatever that means. I don't even like, you know, obviously it's a play on the wolf of Wall Street, but what, what does that even mean? The crocodile of Wall Street. Um, yeah. So while trying to cover up her crimes, she comes up with this public persona. So that was, you know, a weird move in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, that didn't get them caught. Um, like, you would think that it might, but it, it you know, there's enough goofy content creators in New York City <laughs> that no one really batted an eye and just thought she was weird. Um, instead, it was the various mechanisms they were doing to actually try to uh, launder the money. Um, they were moving it in all different ways. They split it up into hundreds of different smaller wallets and stuff like that, and they try to move some over here and some over here. Uh, and it turns out, so they, the, the uh, investigators worked with uh, channel, chain analysis, which, or chain, chain analysis, chain analysis, yeah. Um, which just kind of goes to prove the point of anyone that's talking about that Bitcoin is for money launderers or for thieves, like really doesn't understand the technology. Totally. They literally I used know. like, you know, actual data on the blockchain itself to, to unravel this whole thing. I and, always say this, but it's like, if only all thieves left, you know, right. a time stamped cryptographic signature on exactly, their crimes, Exactly, right? because literally what they did is <laughs> investigators, they somehow figured it out because they were buying a bunch of gift cards from like Walmart and then turning that into cryptocurrency and then, you know, spending on that. And so they drew the connection and they found the connection to the buying the gift cards. And then they found that some of the purchases of the gift cards came from some of the proceeds from the hack. And thus they were able to figure out this isn't just small time thieving. This is someone that has stolen what is now worth, you know, billions of dollars. Wild. Um, so, but when they raided their apartment, they found literally hollowed out books <laughs> used to to cre create it to conceal mobile phones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? How, how hilarious is this? So funny. But here's the upside to the whole story. This is great. Um, because it was such a large theft at the time, in 2016, $71 million was a, a fairly large amount. And so 
and it came from Bitfinex, and Bitfinex couldn't possibly cover it in, in, immediately. So they literally had to force their users to take a haircut. They all lost 36% of their deposits. Not your keys, um, not your coins. Right, yeah. Um, so by 2019, they had recouped everyone. They'd recouped most of those people, but some people decided to take equity in the firm in exchange, in, instead. And now this four and a half billion dollars belongs to Bitfinex because they had recouped everyone. So they recouped everyone in Bitcoin at the value that it was. So it was, it was beneficial for them to try to recoup, to pay people back as early as possible kind of thing. But now three years after they've finished recouping everyone and they finally get the money, or four, four years, they finally get the money, it's worth four and a half billion dollars, which means everyone that took equity is going to make bank Dang. on that. So stoked about that. That's, that, that, was, that was a fun little... Uh, silver lining at the at the top on top of the hilariousness it's of the nice story itself. It's nice to see itself. a good outcome like that too. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. in the world of crypto doom and gloom. Indeed, indeed. 